Hi, I'm Luke Goldsmith from the Doc Espresso Bar. So Luke, um, tell us a little bit about yourself and uh, what you do here at the Doc Espresso Bar. Okay, so we're a seven day a week operation um, and we provide beautiful uh, fresh food to our customers who come and enjoy our exquisite view um, and serve coffee and, uh, and other sorts of uh, treats to, to people. Yeah, that's about us. A very simple sort of operation. Um, so what uh, inspired you to get into this type of industry? Yeah, okay. So um, I've wanted to be in the... I've wanted to have a coffee shop or have a, 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 have a space where I could interact and integrate with the community. And I've wanted to have about 10 or 15 years, but I've been in construction. Um, and I just very much decided while the world was going a bit crazy with COVID-19 and, and all these other changes, I thought I'd make a career change as well. So I, um, I decided to follow a dream and a passion. And um, and yeah, so the, 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 an opportunity became available for me to take over the Dublin Espresso Bar, and here I am. Um, what has been the challenges for you so far or recently with um, COVID-19? Okay, great question. How long do you have? Um, so we took over the Doc Espresso Bar on the on the week that Victoria went regional Victoria went back into lockdown. Um, so that meant that the beautiful um, Port of Sale building was closed to the public um, because we're nestled here in between the art gallery and the library. So that initially brought about its first challenge in the fact that we had a cafe inside a building that wasn't able to be access by the general public. So with that we worked closely with the Shire, they were great, really supportive, um, they helped us set up a table at the front door um, and we turned our coffee shop into a takeaway coffee shop, um, albeit slightly disconnected. So it was a challenging time but um, in the last week or two the doors have opened, our beautiful space can be shared with um, up to 10 people at a time and um, we're, we're just starting to build up and, and, and start to get our feet again. So it's been it's been very, very challenging, but it's been a great time to learn, great time to develop, great time to grow. Now you're about to take it outside too at the moment. So you're going to be um, taking it over to to the wedge um, this weekend um, for the stage door twilight sessions. Um, are you looking forward to that? And uh, what are you hoping to bring out there? Yeah, so uh, of course we're very excited. Uh, very excited as an opportunity. While we're still trying to find our feet, it's always always fun to get a, a, another challenge on top. Um, again, it's about being connected with the community and being involved and being involved and participating um, in, a, in, in, in a project like this. So we think it's a great idea, a great concept, and we're really excited to be involved. So we're changing our menu up a little bit, something with a more of a festival vibe, festival feel. Um, but yeah, no, we're super excited. We're super excited about the challenge. Yeah. So, what are you expecting? Like, what can people expect to see? Like, what sort of food and drinks can they? Okay. Yeah. So, we're moving away from our traditional in-house. Um, we do toasties and to um, sandwiches for cautious here. So, we're moving away from that. Like I said, we're going to more of a festival feel. So, this this Friday night, we'll be running um, some a vegetarian as well as meat-based option uh, soft shell shark tacos. Sorry, soft shell tacos. And um, we'll have some beautiful grazing boards that um, you can buy in groups of two. Um, and there'll be obviously some lovely fresh cold beverages to accompany that with. And also later in the evening, there'll be little dessert boxes that you can get so to finish it out. So yeah, so we'll, our, our, um, our initial plan or our plan for working in this space is to learn, grow, find out what the people um, that attend the space are looking for and then deliver. Yeah, so it's, it's very much a learning exercise for us. And like I said, we're really excited. Sounds delicious. Thank you for your time today. No worries. Thank you.